everyone, Intuitive Edge here. Welcome to my channel once again. It's time to take a look at our week ahead. What are the energies that are in store for the first week of November? I'm going to shuffle up the cards and be right back and we'll take a look. So this week, I think we're gearing up for a pretty spectacular week in a lot of ways. Now, the reason I say that is I pulled seven cards for the week. Six of them are major arcana. So that tells me that there's a lot going on this week and let's get into the cards. The first card out is what's gonna be in the news and we got this card, which is the Hanged Man. It's called Suspended Person in this deck. In my month ahead video, in case you haven't seen that yet, uh, I talked about something happening on the airwaves like with a TV personality primarily. I think it's gonna be someone uh, prominent like on one of the major news networks that's going to be leaving their position. And when I saw this card, suspended person, that came to mind. So maybe someone is leaving, but it's not of their own will. Maybe they're being let go. Maybe they're being suspended. This is just a possibility because that's been kind of in my mind. Um, but I'm wondering if someone's going to be leaving a major news network but the, the essence and the theme of this card is giving something up to gain something better. And that's also what I saw was someone leaving a major network, but going and starting something on their, on their own and being very successful in a different new capacity. And that's the essence of this card. And it's a major arcana. So there's something big with that. It could be that. It could be something else too. I, I had seen that in my month ahead not knowing which part of November, but, um, but that's one possibility is that whole scenario playing out with the major news personality. If not, the theme of that card still applies, giving something up and gaining something better. It's like a strategic move. You might have to get, do something that isn't comfortable or that you don't want to do in the short term, but in the long term, you're going to be better off for doing it. That's the kind of theme of that Hanged Man card. Okay, second card out is on the past influence. And we have this card, I call it the card of the triumphal entry. It's the Six of Wands. It's a generally positive, happy card. But I also see something with, with news or a letter, not necessarily news organization, but something with um, carrying information. And it's, it's looking right into the present influence, which is another major arcana, the magician. The magician, that's a powerful card of creation, taking things and changing your environment, changing things. It's a card of major change. And that is on the present influence. So there's something that has led up to a major change and a shift coming could affect the world, okay, more or less, because we have the world card on the next one, which is the hidden influence. Now, what I saw with this, and the reason I said it could affect the world, being the world card, is I was drawn to these roots here, and these roots are kind of going out on dry land in the artwork there. I kind of got the sense of like supply being difficult or things drying up. I do think there's still, there is going to be some difficulty with supply chain. I know that's been happening already with um, supplies not getting, and this is all engineered by the way. Uh, they could, they could open up ports, they could change things, but I think that there is some that have a vested interest in causing unnecessary breakdown of the supply chain. But nonetheless, that's what we're facing. I think there's going to be some more shortages announced. So I do see some disruption in supply, supply chain. Um, all right, the lesson that we're learning this week is the moon card. Another major arcana, the moon. And this is all about illusion, things behind the veil, uh, discerning truth from falsehood, 
and knowing the difference, not being deceived. So there's a lot of lessons about that. Noticing and paying attention to the truth. Sometimes that getting to the truth can be difficult with that moon energy present. And that's the lesson that we have this week is the moon clouding issues, making things confusing where the way is not exactly clear what the best path is or what the future is going to look like. This moon could really be playing havoc. So there's some lessons around that for us to stay positive, stay grounded. So I talked about that in the month ahead also. So that could be playing heavy with people this, this week. Next card out is what we need to know. Now, interesting card on this. We have the Justice card. Justice. Fairness. Bringing things into balance. And that's on what we need to know. Well, maybe things are balancing themselves out. Maybe things are swinging one way and the pendulum's going to swing back the other way. There's always a shift of energy equal to the opposing energy. It's kind of like physics. The spiritual laws also follow laws too, like physical laws do. So we have justice and balance coming in, bringing in balance, perhaps needed balance. It's especially true with that moon right next to it when things are going to be a little confusing and it might not look very clear. So getting justice in there is going to help. And that's what we need to know. So the lesson might be that we're dealing with the moon, but know that justice is coming in to balance the scales. Okay. Next we have the chariot and this is on the outcome. Now, this is a powerful card of things moving forward. So there's going to be some movement this week. This is a powerful week of change. I think we're going to be seeing a lot going on. Um, I think on a physical level, the supply chain issue is going to be big. And so the key is to not get into fear over it but to work with what you have and just know there's something there's for some reason this is moving through and per, maybe this is just a transient thing that we're moving past and moving through it it could challenge people to see things from a higher perspective and to not just look at them at their circumstance and know that there's something bigger at play here and it kind of has to play itself out. So a lot of powerful energies this week with all of those major arcanas coming through. That's pretty wild to me. So anyway, that's what we're gonna see coming out this week. So be prepared for that and stay safe, stay centered and we'll catch you next time everybody. That's our week ahead. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.